Once upon a time, there were three bears, who lived together in a house of their own in a wood. One of them was a little, small, wee bear, and one was a middle-sized bear, and the other was a great, huge bear. One day, after they had made the porridge for their breakfast, they walked out into the woods while the porridge was cooling, and while they were walking, a little girl came into the house. This little girl had golden curls that tumbled down her back to her waist, and everyone called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks went inside. First, she tasted the porridge of the great huge bear, and that was far too hot for her. And then she tasted the porridge of the middle bear, and that was too cold for her. And then she went to the porridge of the little small wee bear and tasted that, and that was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. And she liked it so well that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went upstairs into the bedchamber, and first she lay down upon the bed of the great huge bear, and next she lay down upon the bed of the middle bear. And then she lay down upon the bed of the little small wee bear, and that was just right. So she covered herself up comfortably and lay there till she fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough, so they came home to breakfast. Somebody has been at my porridge," said the great huge bear in his great gruff voice. "Somebody has been at my porridge." Said the middle bear in his middle voice, and then the little small wee bear looked at his, but the porridge was all gone. Somebody has been at my porridge and has eaten it all up," said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Then the three bears went upstairs into their bedroom. Somebody has been lying in my bed," said the great huge bear in his great rough gruff voice. Somebody has been lying in my bed," said the middle bear in his middle voice. And when the little small wee bear came to look at his bed, upon the pillow was a pool of golden curls, and the angelic face of a little girl snoring away fast asleep. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is," said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Goldilocks jumped off the bed and ran downstairs, out through the door, and along the garden path. She ran and she ran until she reached the house of her grandmamma. And when she told Granny all about the house where the three bears lived in the wood, Granny said, "My, my, what a wild imagination you have, child!"